In this next topic, Rivian has killed a policy that I had no idea actually existed. They've ended their seven-day return policy. I guess I wish Tesla had this, but let's take a look at it. But if you're just running in my business, I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Drive Tesla for posting this. Rivian has ended their seven-day vehicle return policy. I had no idea that Rivian actually had a return policy that you could drive it for seven days or a thousand miles on it. I mean, I feel like I would have done this. I guess you don't need to do a long-term rental. You can just do a quick demo drive just to see it out. But this makes sense because I feel like this costs them money because then they have to throw that vehicle into the demo fleet and sell it with a discount. It costs them more money than they need to. And at this point, Rivian is pretty hot. The Rivian R1S is, sells a lot and so does the R1T. And so they really don't need this seven-day return policy. This is really only for brands that need to kind of prove themselves with a return policy by adding this. But really interesting to see that they've killed it. And Tesla does not have a seven-day return policy at all if you're wondering for the Tesla vehicles. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking.